obviously I'm also in medals here as well, Mr. Prime Minister, so it's a similar topic as well. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Uh, I just want to step over here if that's okay. My name is Brock Blaschek. I'm a retired corporal with the Princess Patricia Canadian Line Infantry out of here in Edmonton, 1st Battalion. I served, in a, I served in the Canadian Armed Forces for seven years. Uh, I deployed in Afghanistan back in 2009 um, until April 3rd, where I was obviously severely wounded by a roadside bomb or improvised explosive. Um, as you can see, I've lost my left leg. I have 58% soft tissue loss and 88% nerve damage on my right leg. Um, back in August, 20, uh, August 24th, 2015, you made the promise, and I'll quote it here, no veteran will be forced to fight their own government for the support and compensation they have earned. Um, yet you are still currently in a legal battle with veterans regarding equal support and compensation to their peers. You know, as you can tell, you know, we have two sets of two standard of veterans who fought in the same war, the ones prior to 2006 and the ones after 2006. There are two standards, one on the old Pension Act and one under this new lump sum or soon to be lifetime pension option. Um, you know, which, by the way, Mr. Prime Minister, by what you just said here, I'm, through my own determination, I'm still at work, so technically, by what you said just a little while ago, I don't qualify for. Um, so, sorry. Oh, so my question time. is... Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your courage. So my question is to you, Mr. Prime Minister, what veterans were you talking about? You know, because you have ISIL or ISIS members coming into a reintegration program. You did a backdoor deal with Omar Qadar with not even stepping into the courtroom. You know, so again, my question is... What veterans were you talking about? Was the ones that fought for the freedoms and values that you so proudly boast about, or was it the ones who fought against? Because honestly, Mr. Prime Minister, I was prepared to be injured in the line of duty when I, went to, when I joined the military. Nobody forced me to join the military. I was prepared to be killed in action. What I wasn't prepared for, Mr. Prime Minister, is Canada have, turning its back on me. So which veteran was it that you were talking about? Thank you, sir. Thank you for your uh, passion and your strength and being here today to share this uh, justifiable frustration and anger with me and with all of us here. Uh, thank you for having the courage to stand here uh, and thank you for listening to my answer. On a couple of elements you brought up. First of all, uh, why are we still uh, fighting against certain uh, veterans groups in court uh, because uh, they are asking for more than we are able to give right now. Um, they are asking for more than we... Well, no. Hang on. You're asking... You're asking for honest answers. 